Hey there again, this is Craig with the Aquaponics Haven. Want to give you an update on the swirl filter that I showed in the last video how to build. This is it in action. I've got it set up in here. There's the clean out valve there. And you'll notice you can see. I don't know if you can see it turning in there, but um, it's turning in there, settling down to the bottom. You can see that there's not hardly no nothing getting past that's going into the um, bio filter. This is my bio filter. I have a 400 micron um, screen in here that sits on a five inside a five gallon bucket so I've got holes drilled big old one inch holes drilled all over the bottom of this I've got my media matter of fact I'll take it apart pull this pipe out let me set that so you can pull this out and see you can see where it has strain I have my media in there. My media. I have some foam in there, and I'm not going to pull it out because it's all stuck together. But anyway, this is my my setup. Let me get it put back in there. The pipe just goes back. Hold on. Alright, I got it put back together. But anyway, it it strains it and it comes out um, and it filters into my beds. Um, here's a tomato plant that's really doing good. Just really has exploded. Here's my lettuce. This is, um, I do believe all this is what they call giant Caesar. Doing good. I've got some bill back there and some black seed. I did have a um my iron was really low and I managed to get it back up. So in the last video you showed the you saw the especially the black seed Simpson, it was really yellow. So now it's turned green, so it's doing very well. Again, um and even some of the smaller plants were dying. They were really looking yellow, so it's really done good. Um, tomato plant in there. I got, I've got this. This is awesome right here. This is a um, what you call the um, uh, cilantro. That bad boy has grown this tall, so. <laughs> It's about two foot tall, so I, I I thought that was something. I've got some man. I got broccoli back there that that flowered, huh? All right. But anyway, you can see where it's just exploded. I'm really doing good, so I'm very satisfied with what's going on. My tomato plants, I have harvested all kinds of tomatoes off this plant and my other plants. Um, I'm getting a, this is starting to turn. 
gallow a little and it'll be ready to pick probably in three or four days. Um, this is getting about ready to be pulled out of here. Um, it's a new tomato plant that's really doing good. Um, starting to get blooms on it. It'll be blooming. I've got these things right here. They're strawberry plants. So I got strawberries on them. So, and here's my other tomato plant. Which you can see the tomatoes on it turning. Which I just picked probably 20 off of it two days ago. And then I've still got more come. That's, and I've got blooms on it. So, it's doing very well. Of my fish are doing good. My water, even though my clarity of my water is really dark, my, P, my pH is doing good. My nitrate, not not nitrites, and ammonia is doing good. They're eating very well, as you can see. So. So, I'm happy with the, the water quality as far as all the pH, nitrites, nitrate, but I just, I just wish the, it wouldn't be so dark. So, hopefully this setup that I'm doing over here with the swirl filter and, and the bio filter, hopefully it will help clear some of that up. But anyway, this is Craig with Aquaponics Haven. This is March and April the 3rd. I hope you're having a good week. And I hope that the Lord will bless you. Don't forget about others you can help with your garden. I'm fixing to pull some lettuce out of mine and go take it to some people that that can't exactly afford this kind of stuff so some of the elderly people out of our church so anyway don't forget about trying to help others because one day you may need help too so God bless you and you have a good day this is Craig signing off